okay all my egg girls run and go get this stick Fenty you did your big one with this okay guys welcome back to another channel I actually another channel <laughs> another video you can tell it's been a minute it actually hasn't been a minute because one second let me actually put my phone on quiet so that nobody disturbs us okay um it's not been that long because i have been on my zoom okay and i have been creating the content editing it i've been pushing it out so in today's video we're trying a new product and i bought this product on a whim i actually bought it in sephora you would have seen that in the last vlog and I am going to test out the Fenty Ease Drop Stick. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to have to get it out so I don't butcher it. Let me just put these little clips in my hair. These are from Primark. I don't recommend because they're very plastic and don't do a lot, okay? So I'm not even like, this is not a plug. This is a runaway from so I have a new product today that I'm going to test out and it is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur Smooth Tint Stick, okay? Just give you a little close-up. So I bought this product on a whim. I actually went into Sephora. I was doing a little like girly day and I wanted originally the one size primer, powder and spray. I got one out of the three things that I actually wanted. Um, so yeah, whilst I was roaming around, I found this Ease Tint Stick. And basically, I kind of wanted something that would be perfect for the summer, lightweight, not super full coverage and not heavy on my face and apparently this is it this is the answer to all my prayers now i was a little bit nervous when i was looking at this product because the shade range isn't really there compared to her other foundation but i just thought let's just give it a go i think it was 28 pounds i'll put the price up here but um, it wasn't too, too bad, you know, for Fenty. And I really didn't know what else to try. I'd tried their skin tint before. I liked the skin tint. But again, for me personally, I've always found that Fenty hasn't always had the right undertones for me. And I knew <laughs> it wasn't the right foundation for me when my mum was commenting on my makeup. If your African mother is commenting on your makeup and... If they say you look crazy, I'm sorry, you look crazy. So yeah, I have actually been using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And this is like a satin finish, I would say. And I kind of want something matte or close to matte or matte, something that can easily be mattified. And the reason why I'm doing this is I really hate it when my makeup transfers. Like, I think that is, like, a big pet peeve. Oh, side note. In the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish, I'm in the shade Medium Deep 25. That is the colour that I use. This is, like, bang on my colour. I don't go a shade up and I don't go a shade down. But I should switch chain switch foundations during summer and winter but so far i've been using this i wanted some i wanted a foundation that would mattify a bit better it didn't have to be matte but like if i put products on top of it to make it matte then it would do that better hold on because i can see my setup being a bit funny here okay so let me know what your like perfect foundation spray powder combo is and if you've been able to achieve like a non-transferable base let me know <laughs> like i'm begging on my knees at this point because i need all the help that i can get 
actually got this in the shade 21. I did go a bit darker than what I would usually do. I usually match my face as best as I can. I know some people like to go a darker shade and then use concealer. So there, as I said, there wasn't a lot of shade ranges. I think it had 24 shade ranges. Um, but I'm assuming Miss Riri knows what she's doing by not having a lot of shades. But I will say it is annoying if you are that person that has to kind of buy two different foundations to get the perfect shade because nobody really has money to be doing that. So let's see what it's given. Okay, so this is the Fenty. And this is in the shade 21. And I've already dropped something. We're going to see how much product we get for £28. And it's not a lot. So you get about this much product. But there is a little bit just there. So I think if you're savvy enough, there must be a way to kind of like get that remaining bit of product out but I'm not too sure how when the time comes I will let you know guys so yeah this is the shade 21 I'll just swatch it on the shall I swatch on the back of my hand yeah to begin with so this is what it kind of looks like on it is darker on my hand it went on very smooth very very smooth before we get into it let's prep and prime this face okay that is step number one of all well all things to do with makeup prep and prime i have definitely been on the hunt for a new primer at the moment i'm using refi i'm not too sure if I like Refi. I definitely don't like Refi with the Pat McGrath foundation. I find that it separates my makeup, especially on a really, really hot day. So yeah, I'm not really feeling Refi right now. If anyone has like the best primer that they would like to share with people, please put it in the comments below. Or DM me on Instagram, wherever. I'm friendly, I'm open, and I want to hear from you guys like what you guys think and what you guys use. Like, let me know if you stack your makeup, your primer too. Like, if you use two different ones and you think that's actually better, let me know that as well, and I will try it. I am so easily influenced. <laughs> so I can be everyone's guinea pig. Someone put it in the comments, let me know, DM me and I'll test it out for us. So yeah, face feeling good. I feel like this tint stick would be definitely something that you can take on holiday and I think it would be great for office days as well. Whenever I'm in the office, because I find that it's a lot of faffing around if that makes sense like i'm in the underground sometimes and it gets hot and i have to walk out the office for lunch and our office has like so many stairs that we have to climb up and down i really like just putting the bare minimum on my face so again if this tint stick is a 10 out of 10 then i've kind of found my new foundation for the office and for days when I want to kind of have like a no makeup look or when I kind of want to do a little bit less and right now we're going to do a little bit less too we're not going to do like a full B we're just going to do probably what I would do if I was going into the office or just running some errands like a very light B I'm not even going to fill in my eyebrows too tough i'm just gonna lightly fill them in but yeah i'll just speed through this part because i think a lot of you 
well if you haven't seen my makeup videos or me do my makeup in any of my vlogs you should watch my other videos that I have or follow me on TikTok I post a lot of like get ready's with me on there lovely so that is my brows and what they're looking like so I've done my brows if I was going to work or just doing a light beat this is exactly what I'll do I'll just do my brows keep it really simple but now I'm gonna do my makeup and this is like first impressions I have not used this at all so I'm really nervous okay I'm gonna look down at the mirror so I can see we're just gonna swatch it here okay so you that's not a bad match that's actually all right so I'm gonna actually so I did watch um a few TikToks and I saw Uche rub it in with her hands and then other people rub it in with their brush so I'll do one side with my hand let me just get a makeup oh yeah there's a makeup wipe here I'm gonna see how it blends with my hand and then I'm gonna see how it blends in with a brush on the other side wow that's really smooth and this is what wow 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 okay this is my face with without no guys I'm pleasantly I'm very impressed and very I'm very impressed and very shocked at the same time I'm so surprised I'm gonna do half my nose there I'm gonna try like just do like literally half with my finger and then half that literally it felt like I was just putting moisturizer on it didn't even feel like I was putting a foundation on my face and this is what my face is currently looking like right now I I really like it miss Rihanna I feel like Rihanna please some people might even kill me for saying this but you know what stick with the makeup thing girl stick with the makeup thing because you know exactly what you're doing it's like selena gomez selena gomez makes amazing makeup products and she should just stick to that like stick to the makeup game because so i'm gonna go in with the refi dense parts of the makeup brush let me use my right hand this time just so i'm not blocking you guys when seeing what I'm doing with my left hand and as you can see even with the brush it still goes on the skin very well it kind of almost looks like dewier on this side with the brush well again I'm still I'm very I'm very impressed. Tell me that does not look that looks like my skin. I look like I just have a little glow. That's really shocking. I do have obviously like a little dark spot there that doesn't fully cover the tint stick doesn't fully cover that, but with a bit of concealer.
guys honestly wow i've never seen my base look this good i can't even lie to you i've had some good makeup days but this is this is good like this is good like comment below what you guys think because i think this is eating it's just this it, this is excellent <laughs> to me this is excellent am i in focus this is excellent guys like i'll give you a real close up of what my makeup is looking like right now i could do with a bit of blending just here But anyway guys, as you can see, as you can tell throughout this video, I think this outro is going to be so short because I'm very happy with this Fenty stick tint. Um, 10 out of 10, give me 15 of them right now. Like literally, I love this and I think this is such a great product for the summer, for the office, four days when you don't want to do a full beat and you just want something on your face you just want to feel and look a little bit more alive like Fenty you did your big one with this I will just say my one kind of worry or just kind of is the shade range obviously for me I got lucky again maybe Fenty knows what she's doing by only putting out a certain amount of shades but you know, maybe it's one of those ones where you can actually find a shade for you, like everyone can find a shade because it's a tint and not a proper full face coverage foundation. So maybe you can get away with doing their shades. I'm not too sure behind the science or the reasoning of it all. But yeah, just again, for diversity and inclusion, <laughs> um, more shade ranges would be very, very nice. But as a stick tint as a tint it does what it is supposed to do and a little bit more okay so i really cannot complain and i definitely think i've got my money's worth for it i think 28 pounds of course there is cheaper out there but in hindsight i don't think it's that bad yeah i'm very much satisfied i'm very much happy i love the way like I just, I can't stop looking at myself because I just love the way my face is looking. It's definitely the beat that I wanted it to, it came out the way I wanted it to come out. Okay, all my it girls, run and go get this stick. And I'm actually kind of late to the party because when I was on TikTok looking at the reviews after I bought it, <laughs> you see what I did there. I buy things and then look at the reviews. Um... I think a lot I think this came out in 2023 but I haven't seen too much on it maybe I would I just missed it I mean maybe I just missed the memo who knows but if you're like me and you're late to the party it's never too late okay and this is this video is your sign to hop on Fenty's stick tint yeah I love it absolutely love it love it love it and thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share with your girlies okay share the content share the tea don't keep it to yourself okay Could, don't keep it to yourself we're one big family over here so share the tea thank you so much for watching i love you all thank you